Hello. <laughs> Say hi. This is Sunny. Don't freak out. We're gonna wait a few minutes before I start to see if anybody's getting on. <laughs> I see Emily. Y'all can watch later though if um, y'all are at work or can't watch right now. Um, I'm just continuing on the china cabinet and we'll be spray painting it. Y'all can see kind of my process and what I use. I've had some people ask about that, and um, so I was gonna show my uh, sprayer and what I use. Um, and I also put links in my description of what paint and the color that I'm using. So it's gonna be the Klein Blue, and <clears throat> right now it's the Klein Blue, and then I'll be um, doing the whole thing with the top coat and I don't I usually use satin so I have to well, I'll probably use satin because that's um, pretty durable it's not too shiny not too flat so um, it's like a happy medium <clears throat> I don't, he wanted to come out here, and now he's, Sunny's a chewini. <laughs> he gets freaked out. He doesn't like flies. <gasps> what is it? The baby. And it's spelled, he's spelled Sunny, S-U-N-N-Y because he's my sunshine. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> he's he's really the baby. Him and Waylon they fight over who's the baby. Right. Gotcha. see yesterday um, Miss Donna and I went over to Plantiques because I have my second location boutique over there and we went and rearranged our well the upstairs is where I have um, some of the clothing so I expanded a little bit like I always do <laughs> I um, brought in a new clothing rack and we have some more clothes coming in which are always fun um, so if y'all are in the area y'all can go and see that if not we have them on the website and I put a bunch of stuff on sale on the website and I do ship so if y'all want or see anything that you like um, you can order right off of there also, if you have questions on sizing, you can message me. And um, <clears throat> like a lot of the stuff is unisex, so I know you probably like, what does that even mean? But um, so if you are questioning like sizing, um, I can definitely tell you what will work. And with the shoes too. So um, I actually ordered a pair of the low tops for somebody off my Instagram page and so I was excited because I got the last seven I think in them and um, so I ordered those and they're coming on the shipment so I'll get to send those out to her. She's in Oregon but um, <laughs> he's just gonna sit here. It's a little baby. 
Well, <clears throat> what else? So we did that, and then I'm gonna probably end up painting the room upstairs to brighten it up. It's um, in, we're here in Virginia, but so the shop is in Newport News in um, a little historic area, and the shop's called Plantiques, and she calls it, Pam is the owner, and she calls it the House of Shops. It's so cute, but it's like a big row or little street, downtown-ish kind of area, real cottage looking, and just a bunch of historic homes that have been turned into shops, and so I'm really excited to be in there and be a part of that. Um, and I did my first festival with them the other day, or it was the last weekend of October, and um, we had a lot of fun. So, um, anyway, but um, <clears throat> I'm still at Design and Consign, and I have, that's where I have my furniture pieces, and um, I have a larger space there. So, we're always changing over there too, and moving around. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sp stay in the spot that I am now. I don't think that Johnny is gonna probably let me move anymore. Um, <laughs> I think I've uh, punched out my card on moving around in different spaces. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so, uh, what else? But yeah, I saw the radio cabinet. Um, customer found me on Instagram and Oh gosh, darn Instagram, because I didn't see the message. Um, it was like two weeks ago that she commented when I posted my photo of it. Uh, the real colorful one, it's like, yay hi, but it was originally a majestic radio cabinet. I looked it up and um, it was like the anniversary edition. I mean, these things were... Oh gosh, I can't even remember. I mean, like 1920s or so, something like that. Um, it wouldn't have been able to have been restored. The radio wasn't even in it. Um, I mean, there's collectors around, um, but it was it didn't have the original grill face because, like, when you open the doors, you would see a grill. Um, but it didn't have that anymore. So, um, but it it made into a really cute, and she's gonna use it as an entryway piece. So awesome, that's like exactly what I saw it as, and so I can't wait to see it in her home. Hopefully she can send me a picture of it. Um, and, uh, you see Sunny? There's Donna, your girlfriend. You see Donna? It's your girlfriend. It's just a baby. <laughs> oh. Um. What else? So. Uh, but but I also got a custom order from her. She has this really cute uh, side table that she wants me to paint in patina green and um, probably the holiday red also. So kind of doing a swap out today with that at the shop so anyway but I guess we'll get started and you guys can watch um, the spraying later on you can fast forward through me doing this right now but you don't want to miss this sweet little face you don't want to miss that one do you do you I Don is talking to you right now. Don is talking to you. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put him inside. <clears throat> Don is like, okay, now I'm gonna get off. <laughs> we'll show off. We'll show off Chi Chi on the next one. Um. Okay, so. 
Again, we're working on the cabinet here. This is it. I, I've already started spraying it. Um, Y'all probably don't want to watch the whole thing get sprayed. Uh, so here's what Here's what I use. This is an Earlex spray station 5500. Um, it's one of the, oh gosh, I can never say it right. H VLP, HPLV, you know what I mean. Um, basically, I don't have to run a generator or an air compressor to pump air. So it sounds like a vacuum uh, when it goes on. Um, there's a hose that attaches to it. And it just Like a vacuum. Oh, how funny. Okay, well, I'm back and I probably lost everybody, but that's okay. Um, that was actually um, <laughs> Facebook calling, oddly. Um, they had called to do a, they had called to do like kind of like a survey a while back which, gosh, this was like, oh, I want to say like a year ago. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know. They're going to send me some kind of email or something. To, they're doing some kind of program um, for small businesses that use Facebook for building their business and all that. So, hi, Diane. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing well. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna get back to talking about my spray gun. Um, y'all can go back and watch if you missed the first half. Y'all didn't miss much. This is my spray gun. This is my hose that goes in there. It attaches in there. And let's set that down the side. Kind of just like vacuum cleaner. <clears throat> and here is my spray gun that it, that it comes with that um, piece right there, all included. Um, so how this works is this is like a cup and I'd say that you don't have to put like a plastic baggie in there, but I found, I'll show you what I have. Okay, well here it says it right here. HVLP spray gun canister liners. So it's like a little liner. I get mine at um, Harbor Freight. Um, you get a 10 pack, so you don't have to mess up your canister and get it dirty every time. You can just plop that in there and not have to do so much cleaning. So here I have the Klein Blue in here. Whenever you're using, um, paint to spray with, it's going to be best to have it more liquidy. Um, uh, you can strain your paint into the canister as well to get out any clumps and stuff like that. So the best thing I would say if you were going to start spraying is, I mean, I would I would think that you have, you know, a lot of projects that you're doing. Um, these work great for your kitchen cabinets. Um, it's an investment. 
This one, when I bought it at the time, was around, I don't know if it was $300 or something like that. Um, that's just, I, and I, I, before this, I used a Cricut, um, which wasn't as professional, but still it did a great job, got the job done. Um, still gave me a great finish. Um, this one just gives me a couple different settings and I can fine tune it with this um, or let it out more. I can't remember if the Cricut had something like, I'm sure it did. I, I honestly can't remember. Um, the Cricut was cool because it, you could work out of a mason jar <laughs> and then just close your mason jar back up and uh, reuse it later. Um, but, so if you're not one, wanting to spend a whole lot of money, I would recommend the Cricut, um, which are like probably $40, $40 or so. Um, I, I think they're still for sale. I wouldn't see why they weren't. I thought it was a great product. Um, so this does all come apart to clean it. And you do want to make sure you clean it. If you start getting clumped up, you're going to have to take it apart and uh, go take it, you know, get all your brushes, pipe cleaner kind of things to clean it up and get clumps out if that's what's happening. Um, on here, these are my settings I was talking about. So you can, this is like a, a, a white horizontal. This is like a straight shot. And then this is a, like a vertical spray. So, um, it's really nice whenever you're getting in corners and stuff like that. Um, I'm not the best at taking care of it because I'm always on the run um, and um, chasing children, one in particular. Uh, so I would say for that and all that being said, it's held up. I've had it since we've been in Virginia. So a couple of years now, and I haven't had to buy or purchase anything. I mean, I do, I, I clean it, uh, maybe not right on the spot, maybe not right when I finish painting, but, you know, eventually I do. Um, what else? I don't know. So sometimes, Sometimes I've had um, like this get loose and I just had to simply tighten it up. Um, but before you start, you want, want to make sure that this tightens up and then um, we'll get started. And I do use a respirator. Uh, I think we got this out. Lows, and you can get new cartridges as needed. I'm sure that I need one. I just haven't gotten one. <clears throat> you can clean this up. Um, but, um, so anyway. This goes on like so. If you're not accustomed to wearing these, it's, it's kind of, um, you just want to make sure that you they fit and you have some suction so that air doesn't get in. You'll be able to tell, you'll be able to smell it um, for one. So if that happens, you need to adjust your mask. But this is a good one. I've tried the, like the new kind that are just like your, 
Uh, filter is just, it's inside this part, like you don't have all this going on, but they were just too heavy on my face and I didn't like the feeling of it. So I returned it even though they were pretty cool looking. Um, so there's a bunch of different kind out there. You just pick, pick your poison. And, um, but as far as picking a sprayer, there's a lot more sprayers out there now. When I was looking for mine, um, they didn't have like the ones at, at I think Lowe's had, like I haven't really shopped for one because I haven't needed to. I'm super happy with what I have. Um, and But I know a lot of people have gotten some at Lowe's. Um, Har I think Harbor Freight has one. Um, I'm sure Home Depot has it. I mean, you can get online and look it up. Uh, I'm sure there's tons of reviews on them for everyone. Uh, so this, oh, this one I got at Woodcraft. So they carry things like that also. Um, General Finishes sprays really well out of it. And actually now they have the Enduro, <clears throat> which is this which is pre-mixed so your top coat and your paint is mixed in here I'm not sure if they have every color in the enduro but for sure like this is antique white um, they have the black and you can get it in the satin and semi gloss and gloss finishes this is super watery um, only meant for spray, not brushing. So keep that in mind. Uh, the price is great. I think it's the same price as your regular quart of milk paint. So not, not much difference there and you're getting two in one versus having to buy, you know, milk paint and, um, you know, the top coat but you have to spray it so you kind of gotta weigh that out uh see what you want to what your investments in um but i don't spray everything um <clears throat> i do like to spray my china cabinets or a large piece of furniture uh, i like the finish that it gives and Well, I'm just gonna spray and y'all can watch and all and um, y'all can play it back if you want again if y'all have any questions any more questions if I can go over anything y'all just let me know um, I just had a few requests to show what it was like to spray a piece of furniture and what I use um, to spray with so this is it okay <laughs> My dark Vader mask on. Real cute.
<laughs> See, Jennifer, this is what I do. <laughs> Yeah, it probably got a little thick in here. So I'm going to, um, I might add a little water to it. Uh, may have to clean it out. Um, because I didn't make it too terribly thin, so. Um, anyway. Uh, the only way to get good with your sprayer, I would say, is that you have to use it and get to know it and uh, it'll be your best friend. <laughs> We'll talk to y'all later though. Thank you so much. I'm gonna finish working on it and then y'all can, we'll uh, post pictures later on. All right, thank you.